Welcome to Cooking with Jay. Today we're going to be making a Wagyu Ultimate Cheeseburger. So we all know they're Wagyu's from a Japanese cow. They're fed the best food. They take care of them better than themselves. <laughs> Alright, so basically it's saying this is some of the best beef in the world, okay? So we're going to go ahead and pair that with some home fried potatoes, alright? And then we're going to go ahead and throw an egg in that bad boy with the Ultimate Cheeseburger. You got your grapeseed oil. It's very important, okay? It locks in all your flavors. Uh, you don't want to put too much when it comes to spices, so we're going to go basic. We're going to go ahead and do our garlic, some pink rock salt, and then we got some pepper, okay? Not too much. Very minute on those spices. All right, so we're going to do a triple cheese deck now. So we got Swiss, aged cheddar, and American cheese. We're going to throw down some tomato in that bad boy. You know what I'm talking about? Make that nice and good and get everything together. Finish it off with some lettuce, split it down the middle for a good meal. All right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a dry rib on this bad boy. So first we're going to flatten it out. You can use anything to flatten it out. I have to like the lids for my containers because they have holders on the side and you can just smash them on through. So go ahead and run it. There we go. Okay, nice and smashed. This is a big piece. And then while it's smashed, you keep that round off because it's already there. And you're gonna tuck them, okay? Remember like I said in my sushi video? Keep tucking in the sides, y'all. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so now that's a perfect round cylinder. Now, take it off, just do it slowly. Boom, comes off, that's a very good round. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything together so you can take a look at the marbling. All right, so there you go. So that marbling is that Wagyu. To have a good steak or choice of beef, like ground beef, you wanna make sure you have good marbling. And this is 100% vegetarian fed, by the way. So I'm just putting this in to lock in the flavors and everything, guys. So I don't put too much, like I said, because Wagyu doesn't need much. It really doesn't, okay? Here we go, Put another one. I'm gonna do one side for you guys because we don't wanna go through both sides for the sake of time, right? <laughs> Just a little bit of salt, don't go overboard. Bam, you're good to go. All right, now I'm gonna start putting everything, breaking it down, all right? And I'm locking in those sides, a perfect cylinder here. And then we're gonna go to work at the cooking and preparation station. All right, so we're back at the cooking and preparation station. I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing down some of these fries. Let's go to work. Go ahead and do the tester. Yep, it's good to go. Okay, so you wanna do one tester, let it ride for a little bit. That way it doesn't go all over the place. So you can cook them however you want. I have a deep fat fryer, but this method is pretty good too. Okay, we'll do a couple more. Let that ride in there, be good to go. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw down our burger. Woo, look at that, that <laughs> wag you. And you wanna hear that sizzle as soon as you lay it down. Now remember, I have already coated it with that grapeseed oil. So it already has a lot of oil. And what's gonna happen is all those flavors from the wagyu and everything are gonna to start to drip out. It's gonna be super juicy. It's gonna be one of those burgers that kind of melt in your mouth, okay? So we're gonna do a lot of different things here too. All right, so we've been waiting for about three minutes and everything, so that's what we want. We want about three minutes on each side before we go ahead and flip it. Now, we're going to pretty much see a nice coating on the bottom if you did it right and everything else. So when I flip it, you'll see. Make sure you flip not against you, against the grain, right? Boom. And that's how you want it to look, okay? Nice, nice, a nice coat. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw our cheese on top and everything else. So I already got it laid out. You got your cheddar, Swiss, and American. Boom, okay? Now, we wanna go ahead and get the top and cover that bad boy up as well. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and cover it. It's just so that way that cheese melts all over the place. All right, now these fries should be golden brown and ready to go. Take a look. Yeah, that's how you want them to look, right there. All right, we'll go ahead and shut them down and everything. Let them ride. And we'll go ahead and take them bad boys off in a second. Mm. 
Now we should be good and melted all over the place. Bam, look at that. That's what we talking about. And I'm pretty sure the internal temperature is about 130. But let's go ahead and give it a run. We'll take a look and see what we're working with. See? Boom. It's getting there, it's about 120. So I'm gonna leave it on there for another probably minute, and that's it, and then it's good to go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look, see where we're at. Okay, good, we're at a 135. That's good to go. Go ahead and run it out. All right, let's set that aside. Boom. All right, now it's time to fry the egg. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some Sicilian olive oil, okay? Sicilian extra virgin olive oil. Egg, break it down. All right, now it's time to go ahead and break this bad boy all down. So let's go ahead and do the flip. There we go. Turn that bad boy off. We're good to go in a second. We're gonna throw that right on top. So we basically only need about 10 seconds. And you can count it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're just going to throw it on top of our burger and everything else, just like that. Boom. And you can already tell that's going to be bad. <laughs> Good to go. All right, now we're back at the plating and presentation station. We got this ultimate cheeseburger, but it's a Wagyu ultimate cheeseburger, which is the bomb. So you got the triple cheese. You got your egg over easy, sitting on top, brioche bun on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and start dressing this bad boy up now. I'm looking at it like I'm about to eat it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start over here. Okay, here we go. Boom, that's what we like. All right, so we're gonna go ahead with some tomatoes and everything else. That tomato's not cooperating. <laughs> Cooperate tomato. All right, now, throw on some bacon. It'll be good to go. Man, this thing is like a mountain already. Look at this mountain. I'm going to go ahead and do a spin real quick so y'all can see it. <laughs> I got to do another spin when it's done and cut, but look at this bad boy already. All right. So we're going to put the brioche bun on top. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, my God. That looks crazy. This looks crazy. So good. Okay. All right. So now the problem I have to do and deal with now is cutting it up, right? So I want y'all to see this. We're going to get closer for this bad boy right here. So I have to go off the sides so you can already see where the cut is right there. We'll go straight down the middle. Oh, yeah. I like that sound. Okay. Now, see what we're working with. Yes, medium. And look, you can already see where that yolk is trying to come out and everything. That's wonderful. All right. And this is how you do it. We're going to do a little quick spin and rooney here so you can see. Man, this is going to be so enjoyable. <laughs> All right. There you go. That's how we run it. Man. Put a few of those bad boys in there just for color. And this is how we run it. And you're cooking with ginger. 